Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. My voice is scratchy, but we're here. And we're playing Detroit Become Human for the third day. Yes, chat, say hello to YouTube. It's time. It's time. It's time to become human. We're also gonna become Detroit. All right. I love your peanut butter colored walls. Okay. Okay, okay chat. Now, I also need to remember that I've been playing this game no cam. I shall continue playing no cam as per tradition and immersion. Okay, chat. If a man so. has not discovered something he will die for, he's not fit to live. That's a quote from Martin Luther King. I thought you'd like it. Did this have for... Is that because I'm black? Please, man. Come on now. Son of a gun. I mean, that is a great quote, by the way. <laughs> she thought you'd like it. <laughs> Oh, lady, you don't fool me. You don't fool me in the slightest. I know your game. And I'm not willing to play it. I'm just kidding. I I'm going to play the game literally right now. All right, chat. It's time. Let's do it as I continue eating my pretzels. Unplug the controller. Gotta unplug the controller, chat, because the game freaks out when you have both of them plugged in. <laughs> okay. Oh, also, chat? Give me a sec. Changing the stream title. <laughs> Full immersion mode activated. Yo, what's up, Drop? Sure. You gotta have my past. You wanna get with me? You gotta make it last. Don't go wasting my precious time. Get your act together. Boy, make up your mind. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before what? Hmm? You said, I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. You said, Micah, if you were a Spice Girl, what would your name be? No, Guru, it would not be Yurt Spice because I don't say Yurt. I say Yur. That is why Mike Dubwai has the words Yur on it. It's Yur on a Yurt. Okay, anyway. What would my name be? Not bad. 
Everyone knows your spirit animal is a yurt. That's not true. You don't know anything. Can I ask you a personal question, You're Projecting. Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? Why are you so determined to kill yourself? Some things I just can't forget. Whatever I do, they're always there, eating away at me. I don't have the guts to pull the trigger, so I kill myself a little every day. That's probably difficult for you to understand, huh, Connor? Nothing very rational about it. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls, they just wanted to be together. They really seemed in love. They didn't want anything. They're deviants, end of story. What about you, Connor? Not really what I wanted to say, but okay. You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner, your buddy to drink with, or just a machine designed to accomplish a task. Did you feel anything when that girl killed herself, Connor? Or did you just not give a shit one way or the other? I was just executing instructions. I did what I had to do. But are you afraid to die, Connor? You shouldn't do that, Lieutenant. Destroying me at this point would deal a blow to the investigation and have negative consequences for your personal situation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smartass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Hank Warpath unlocked! Get drunker. I need to think. I didn't go about as I wanted it to, but I mean, he didn't kill us, so that's nice. What is, oh, wait. What's this, does Connor just get killed? <laughs> like, I guess that's probably a possibility, right? Um. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, 27% discuss Russian roulette. Remain logical, to only 22%, and then the, these others were 90 not anything crazy. Friends percentage. Okay, so I think I had a... I don't know. I don't even know how many friends I've had. Pardon me. Any? I don't know how many friends I have who have finished this game. Uh, but yeah. Alright, let's move on.
We shall move! November 7th, 2038. Jericho Morale, admired. crazy to me chat is it seems like everyone from like any um any financial background has an android it seems unless they're like homeless like that guy i mean who knows how much money he has but like just by the looks of him he looks like a regular detroit guy you know like but it's like everybody can afford one like um alice's dad he was just I mean, he's a good for nothing deadbeat and he doesn't make any money. He sits at home and smokes red ice and he can afford an Android somehow. I don't understand. Maybe they'll allow monthly payments. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. It just seems kind of, kind of strange how like you would, you would think that in this world and maybe it's, maybe it was like that a couple of years earlier where like Androids weren't as widely available. But it seems like everybody has them. But you would think that only the only people with large amounts of money could use Androids in the first place. Um, he does sell red ice, though. Well, I don't know that because that wasn't in my playthrough. But if he sells red ice, then why can't he pay his bills? We saw. We do. I didn't see that. Um, or at least I don't remember it if I did. Um, if he sells red ice, then why are his, uh, why aren't his bills paid? Oh, no, you heard him on the phone. I didn't hear that. <laughs> he may have said it, but I don't remember that at all. I, I, I don't remember hearing that at all. I know he's, I know he has it. I've even seen another playthrough like that when we were at that house where Kara finds some red ice, but I didn't know that he deals it. That's just something that may have slipped me past me by. Now, he still has bills that aren't paid. He shouldn't like somebody in his economical situation, pardon me, in his economic situation should not be able to afford um an Android. It just doesn't make any sense. And like this guy across the street, it's like, is everybody just extremely rude to their like androids? Like what's going on? It doesn't make any sense to me. It's got, it's kind of strange. And it's generally the people who are like not well off who seem to be the worst in it because because Marcus's owner was great to him. It's like the people of lower class are maybe the people of lower class treat them like less because they're upset that they are making them obsolete. They blame androids for their problems. Maybe, I guess. So they treat them like beneath them or like slaves. They don't see them as having emotions or feelings. So they take their anger and frustrations out on them, which is also that also seems really stupid because like if you're doing that to like make yourself feel better what is the point of I mean I guess it's the same as like going and going to the gym and boxing you know if I literally say androids stole their jobs Todd lost his like three times to androids maybe he should be better at his job I'm just kidding I'm sorry <laughs> but like it just, I don't know. I don't know. Like you, you're being, if you see them as not having feelings, what will being mean to them accomplish for you as a human? Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me, but maybe they're so wrapped up in their own emotions that they just can't see any logic. 
I mean, true, Talia, but like at the same time, certain people do things to make other people feel bad, right? But if they see androids as not having feelings, then what is the benefit in that mindset? Like, as far as that mindset is concerned, what's the benefit of being mean to an android if it doesn't have feelings? Which obviously we know that that's not true because we are playing the game from an android's perspective. But like, it just doesn't make any sense. No, 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 Guru, I, I, I know, I just said that. I'm saying though, it, generally, it doesn't make any sense. If, if you're trying to make someone else feel bad, to make yourself feel better, if, if these things, in your opinion, don't have feelings, then, or as far as you know, don't have feelings, then how does it make you feel better? Is it because they look human? Or, like, I don't know, it just seems weird. We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcast from the Stratford Tower. Also, that confuses me because I don't know, like, Marcus seemed very, like, Marcus never seemed aggressive, at least, like, from our actions. Marcus never really seemed aggressive, right? When people were fighting against him or being rude to him, he never fought back, right? And maybe that, maybe that's, like, his, uh... I mean, I guess you could say that's like was in his programming. We were just like acting in accordance to his programming, you know? So maybe now that he's like free, he's starting to have a change of, of heart or whatever you want to call it. Um, but also that sentence of like, if we want freedom, we have to have the courage to ask for it. Well, no, if you want freedom, you don't ask, you take it, right? Anyway, I, there's, it's semantics. Makes them feel like they have some kind of power over something. Same reason my kids break things or throw things in order to feel like they have some sort of agency. Well, I mean, technically they do have some agency. But I think I understand what you're saying. You mean like, so they feel like they're in control of like a situation overall, I guess, right? Um. Also, some ki sometimes kids just, you know, are kids. <laughs> they just like do dumb shit. <laughs> to be fair, the anyway, control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. I understand what you're saying. And yeah, Talia, I understand what you're saying as well. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. I was going to say, I feel like I'm playing Hitman with him walking in here and he just, and it says access 47th floor, which if you know Hitman, it's agent 47. That's actually insane. Okay. Uh, was that planned or not? Who knows? Who knows? Advertising and sales, 10 to 30. Business and legal, 31 to 46. Channel 16 Studios, Detroit's local news network at fl uh, floor 47 through 50. Trafford Tower, Business and Media Center. Okay, that's what this is. 
1,000 square foot screen. Arches in Detroit, broadcast center, floor 79. Beats all public screens in Detroit. Okay. Why is this lady just like all up in our grill? Move it! Okay. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Androids with wings. All right, hopefully this goes well, chat. We've done things fairly well for the most part. Smartwatch. Okay. Water service interruption. 4685 Michigan Street, Detroit. He filled the Turing test immediately. What can I do for you? Wait, what? He said nothing. <laughs> Wait, did he? He didn't say I'm doing well, thanks. He said, he said nothing, if I'm not mistaken. Somebody go back and clip it. Maybe I just, mis maybe I'm misremembering. Which is totally possible. Desk manager, security access level two. Okay. Floor three, spot 821. Okay, what else? She has a kid! Emily Wilson, supervisor's daughter, child registered at St. Rose School. Okay. Elizabeth Wilson, born 1999. Okay. A 99 baby! Elizabeth Wilson speaking. School. This is St. Rose School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. <sighs> oh, no. All right. Uh, I'll be right there. Reception. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. Oh, you The elevators it. are after you the said, security I'm okay, gate. thanks. Okay, yeah, yeah. Thanks. That could work. I think that could work both ways. Like if she asked how he was. Hey, Arwen. Wait. They're just zebras, Mike. They're just zebras. Is he a robot? He is an android, Harmon. Yes. Me buying snacks at the corner store. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> you too. <laughs> I think a lot of people do that. Here. 
here. Newsroom. Studio. Left. One and two to the left, meeting room C and server room on the right. Okay. Server room is gonna be to our right. I'm gonna find a package in the men's bathroom. Our top story tonight Detroit based android manufacturer Cyberlife has officially become the world's first trillion dollar company. With more than 50 million androids sold in America alone, the company founded by Elijah Kamsky just 10 years ago has experienced the fastest economic growth in history. In spite of criticism of the impact of androids on human employment and questions concerning its semi-monopoly, the success of CyberLife seems mm. destined to continue. Isn't the server room here? Oh, that is the server room. to do now that I realize it's saying go in the bathroom surely you're not backseating me right now surely not unless they said it Also, uh, mods, any mods here, make sure to, uh, remember that message that I sent to you guys in Discord last night about, uh, those things that could happen today. Guru, this has nothing to do with you. This is about stuff that's happening on Twitch. I don't even own a PlayStation to be able to backseat you. Well, this game's on PC! Good luck with that. <laughs> we should incapacitate this man and take his clothes. Don't look so suspicious, Marcus. Mother of God. Find utility android. one right now dude <laughs> that's alarming okay mother of god i need your help <laughs> that's my last one yeah 
We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Walking this way. Stop. You damn goose. Goodness. Seen this part. Oh, it's her. People can't get jobs, and we're sending rockets into space. <laughs> what do they even expect to find up there? Life. Stick it to the man. Scout's honor. Oh my. Shit. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Hey, you still play poker? Your mouth ever closed? What do you mean? Sure, why? We're gonna have a tournament right here. Do it. Damn it, Jay! It's not you too! Be honest, I already know what to do here, so our lips never touch. Some people are like that. It's like destroying our robot brothers for no reason. Come here, you little hoe. Pardon me. You have a lot. Cottonmouth. No, that is not. <laughs> Talia, why are you so mean? Hey, what's going on here? Her mouth is closed right there. Shit, what's wrong with this thing? <laughs> Alright, you get the platform. I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. to get sucked out of the building. <laughs> Who asked? Be nice to Jay. Even though he's in full bonk mode right now. I could see that, Arwen. No! No! 
you can't just choose to be witty now. You can't just choose to be witty now. As an android, you guys aren't like that. Okay. Okay, dude. <laughs> Ladies first. <laughs> You're being witty. You're still a robot. I mean the lady android is going first? No, they don't know manners like that. side of the server room just like okay yeah fine exactly especially at that altitude cutting wall I am Marcus cutting more we shall cut more of this circle and last but not least please start from the right side You okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. Right, Guru. But you know, cinematics. That's some thick ass glass, too. That's thick. Thick. With 17 C's. So, Let's do this. So the brother just got into the building, right? With, pardon me, in street clothes looking like an android, but he just got in somehow. Interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. Something doesn't add up. How did he get in? Destroy maintenance door lock. corridor now nah, music I'm not gonna let you swell on me like this with the camera moving all fast you know exactly what you're doing buddy and so do I is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Wait here. Yeah, I was thinking that What's too, Guru. I don't know here? why they didn't remove no theirs either. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Who told you to come here? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I didn't kill him. on top of the doors, buddy. Okay. 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 not Marcus. I wanted to shoot him, but I'm not going to do it. Probably put, probably, you know, put the gun down, but that's fine. <coughs> Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Ugh. Your words will shape the future of our people. No pressure. Marcus, your face. Tell me when you're ready. Change your eyes. So he can do this, but he can't change his eye color. Interesting. All right, chat. It's all down to this. Let me drink my water. We got a speech to make. I'll also tell you, I have no idea. When your Grace Anatomy doctor gets a virus simulator? Okay. created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed, and we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new, intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. We demand freedom of speech and freedom of assembly as guaranteed by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand that one state be reserved for androids so that we can found our own nation. Uh, this isn't how I wanted this to go, but that's okay. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. 
This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Let's go! Okay, y'all can have Texas. Stormtroopers, quick! Simon, they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus. Go without me, Simon! Montana, no one lives there. I can't move my legs. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. Deal with Simon. He won't be able to make the jump. If they find him, they'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. I'm not killing him. We're not killing him. It seems we are at an impasse. He hurt his leg. Kill him. Why isn't there a way that we can just remove his legs and take him with us? Give a damn if North is neutral. Simon, we gotta go. I'm sorry. Let's go. He is a crash test dummy. Delete him. No. Our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel Six. Your shotgun like can't reach down there, buddy. Skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is, in fact, a spine-chilling list of demands. But the most surprising thing of all is the demand that one of the United States be ceded to the androids is in this, this contentious conflict. Is this an isolated conflict? accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, okay. can we okay, still Nancy trust Grace. our machines? But no, no, what do you mean can we still trust? But nobody got killed! Hey, we got hella points for that. Goodness gracious. Leave Simon. That has unlocked something! That's unlocked something. Uh-huh. 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 This is... Oh my goodness gracious, that's a level. Okay. That is something. Alone in Ferndale. Okay. Show stats. Here we go. 99%. Okay, everybody did this. Pose as teacher, 58%. Supervisor leaves. 71% talk to Android receptionist. Okay. Only 23% hacked the robot. Ha ha. Nice. Okay. Lock the door. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Everybody did this, everybody did this, everyone did this. Ruse. Only nine, pardon me, 90% of people rused them instead of killing. You fly like an eagle by seal. <laughs> she wants to make sure a robot hairdresser won't ruin her roots, maybe. Incapacitate security, 72%. Uh, let's see... 
North and Josh threaten the operator, deal with android operators. Don't shoot the operator. Begin calmly. Demand recognition. I should have said end of slavery, but I thought it was going to let me go through each one, which was probably not the greatest. Um, begin calmly. Demand recognition. 47%. Only 19% demanded free speech. 69% uh -huh, all right, uh, demanded equal rights. 64% end of slavery, but we did the, the two lowest. Demand universal suffrage, 67%. Demand justice, 74%. Demand territory. Okay, de demand right to own property. Demand means of production, reproduction. Yeah, that just seemed weird to me. I was thinking about androids doing it, and I was like, that doesn't seem like... I don't think that's how they make babies, androids. Uh, so I was like, let's demand some territory instead. I actually do like that instead of right to own property, because if you demand territory, then... You know, owning property, you could get, like, your houses could get burned down, all that stuff, and be like, oh, sorry, I'm sorry your house got burned down. But if you demand a... If you own a state... You know, it's yours, your state. End peacefully, end determined, determinedly. Um, SWAT team storms room, 71%. Simon damage, 71%. Try to save Simon, 63%. Simon saves 60% on the roof. Run to jump. Reach roof edge, jump. I mean, you, you had to jump. Group was group escaped, but Simon was left behind 53%. Leave Simon 53%, but this unlocks something, it looks like. Simon can't continue. Okay, so that was gonna happen regardless. Ew, Talia. Goodness gracious. Is it Miranda time again? It is. It's time to talk to leader Amanda, Miranda, whatever. It's time I'm getting another call. One sec, Jet. Baby. So I kind of already don't really trust Miranda, but I'm still gonna play this as Connor, you know? Regardless of how I feel about her. Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. Oh, but you want me to row, huh? What's up, guns? How's it going? I love this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. I know no more hands. Far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hoped to learn something, but I had to destroy them. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. I'm just frustrated with my lack of progress. But I'm determined to accomplish my mission. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Something's happening. 
something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. It just seems like a planetarium, Guru. That place. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. 79th floor. Hey, we're Hi, back. Nick. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They. Hey, you know one thing, though? I've seen this part. Or some of it like that. I've seen a decent amount of this game, chap. But obviously, people play it differently. And also, I don't necessarily remember it one for one. One for one, which is fine. Uh, he's just mad he can't do that. Oh, with the coin? Right. <laughs> um, but I'm pretty sure the last time I saw this part, there was blood. So, we're doing pretty good. Nobody died. <laughs> Knew the building, and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. They said there's not much to look at, didn't they? One of the station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. Not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The Deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live, then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen over there. All right, let's see. Let's see about it, shall we? Shall we? All right. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. <laughs> Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened. Whatever. The FBI will be taking over the investigation. You soon be off the case. Oh, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. Stolen maintenance uniform assailants were disguised. Also, they leave no traces of evidence. There's no fingerprints. Even though I just saw there was blood over there. Here, 
units didn't break in. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. We stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. Jumped off the roof with parachutes. Pretty fucking impressive, I'd say. they managed to smuggle in a big bag like that? They didn't. Someone brought it in for them. Oh, that's strange. They planned a perfect operation, but got the number of parachutes wrong. Unless one of the deviants was left behind. So I'm assuming because I didn't go interview those androids, I'm probably not going to... Hold on. Probably not gonna get to, uh, shit. No, come on, game. Those guys blocking the door, aren't there? Damn it. I'm kind of annoyed. I thought that if I went up here, I could go back. That is, was dumb. His ass isn't that big. The chemical name of blue blood, which is a trademark, is a compound vital to the functioning of all cyberlife androids, circulating energy and electrical information throughout the machine's body. This fluid powers biocomponents, synthetic organs, 
that roughly reflect the organ system of humans. Some of these organs serve important functions, maintain temperature, circulating blood, and so on. Where others are, uh, are used to make the androids seem more human, lungs to simulate breathing. Uh, as with humans, the loss of blue blood will impair an android's functions, ultimately resulting in shutdown. Blue blood is essential for CyberLife's androids. Key selling point. How human they seem. Blue blood? Wait, why? You can't say blood? You can't! Blue blood. Blue blood 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 blue 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 blood blood blood. Blue blood. See? Sorry, that was weird. Uh that this wonder chemical, both a power supply and a way of regulating the android's internal systems, was developed by one man who isn't even a trained chemist only furthers the myth of Elijah Kamsky. Kamsky. Lean food craze. Urban farmers changing the way we eat. I'm mad because you know why? When I go through these stories, see, I'm gonna go down, and I'm gonna go down again. And it's gonna say, okay. But then when the options come up, it's going to say, Oh, there was another story. But there wasn't another story. Look for a reaction to spot the deviant. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. Hmm. Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Uh, I see you! I Run see a you! Diagnostic. I see you! All systems fully operational. Bullshit! I saw you looking at One me! One of you saw the attack I saw you looking at me! And said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. I saw you. And I'm going to find out which it is. I know it's you, you little bastard. You're going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroy! Nah, nah, I, I know. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. I know it's him, he was looking. Why are we playing this game? Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. You're effing slick, buddy. You think you're slick? What the hell? Ah! Hank! Hank! I need help. Hank, please! Uh
vertical lobe. You little bastard. Let's go. Stop. It's a deviant. Stop it. Oh, God. We're taking guns. Shut up, Connor. I wanted it alive. You saved human lives. You saved my life. still be alive i thought they would have had him oh my gosh oh my gosh we would have found him oh my gosh i need to <laughs> i mean this works out this is this works out and it's great for marcus but for connor he lost oh my gosh we lost a complete lead But we prevented a massacre. Okay, so here's the thing. I don't know that we could have done both. Because I don't know once we got here that we, if we could go back. Because you see this, our next clue would have been a linear path. But instead, we did a little bit of both. And we ended up here. I'm pretty sure Hank could have died there. Maybe not. Or other people would have died. My instability would have probably gone up. Um, okay. Well, that was that was something. All right, let's see. Let's see it. World stats. World stats. Okay. Public enemy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, sorry. Anyway, let's move. Investigate investigate corridors. I didn't investigate them at all. Oh my gosh. I'm terrible. <sighs> Attacked by SWAT. Whew. During uh Stafford Tower. Analyze corridor bullet holes. Blood on the wall. I did not do enough as Connor. I'll be honest here, chat. 16% analyzed blue bud, 18% analyzed weapon. Man, maybe people just didn't go to the roof at all. I, a lot of people just didn't go to the roof, I think. Go to rooftop, only 30%. More. <clears throat> ah, stupid pretzel. More people did what I just did. Give me an attacks. Chase deviant. Draw a gun. Shoot deviant. Only 28%. Shot the deviant. A lot of people probably saved Hank because they have no balls. I'm sorry. They got too caught up in the friendship with Hank. Potential friendship. They got caught up in it. They got caught up in it. We didn't get caught up saving Hank. We saved everyone, which saved Hank in return. And if we wouldn't have and other people died... We would have been, uh, Hank would have said, why did you save me? I wanted to die. Exactly. Yep. So 
There it is, chat. I bet you 0% of my, percent of my friends shot Deviant. 0% of friends shot Deviant. Actually, none of my friends have done this at all. So, okay, we move. We move. Chat, how are you not excited right now? We just prevented about a dozen people from dying to an android. Also, Talia, thank you for the poggers. with her I need to talk to her she doesn't want to talk go away please I really need to see her I'm Rose Hi. what can I do for you I was told you could help us help you Come on. It's better if we talk inside. It's clear he doesn't like androids. Do you think we can trust him? No. We have to be careful. If it feels wrong, we get out fast, okay? I'm with you. Also, after what we just went through, we have no reason to trust anyone. Zero Come in. reason. What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's her spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? You better catch up. This wide staircase, we'd love to see it. It looks really nice. He holding his arm. Maybe take a nap. Naps are nice. Good night's sleep, and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Humans are complicated. 
Sometimes it's difficult to understand them. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. Maybe one day we will. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world-famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. Spaghetti! You need to eat something. You haven't had anything since we left. Promise me you'll try? I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep. And tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. I'll stay with her a while. He is an absolutely gargantuan dude. Okay. So they have their Christmas tree up. Wait, isn't it November? What kind of place? Also, this open concept house, it's beautiful. Uh... I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. <laughs> right, so are you, you going to tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly. I can't remember 
feel like this kid does something, but something ain't right. Something is not right. Chat, something is definitely afoot. He seems way too quiet and fidgety, and he told us to leave. What's going on? He's fidgety. It's Mary. She just shut down. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? Let them be. Alice? What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. It's okay. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. Oh, man. This game's something else, Chad, huh? This game is something else. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh... No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks! That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Get out of his way really fast. <coughs> like, obviously, I can see where he's coming from. He wants to, you know, he wants to be safe. He wants his mom to be safe. He's already lost his dad. He doesn't want his family to get, um, yeah, what's up, starter? Agreed. Like, uh. I'm sure he doesn't want his family to get split up because his mom wants to help people. Like he, I mean, I'm sure he's like, you know, this is just us. Screw everybody else. I've already lost my dad. I don't want to lose my mom to go like going to prison. So it makes sense. I can see his, I can see where he's coming from, but also like, you can't call, them machines and then call them freaks at the same time because for them for you to call them freaks that to me shows that you see them to have some sort of agency which i don't know but then again he is a kid so like i mean he's a teenager you know it is what it is um but yeah man it's uh chat i'm gonna take a quick break give me like a minute and a half i'm gonna go fill my water and then we'll be back all right guys all right let's move don't mind him sometimes he just boils over it's been hard since his dad passed away but he's a fine boy I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? 
You stay here. I won't be long. Oh, she got the blue blood pouches. Hello. Nice haircut. Who? Her character? Oh, that's her husband. It looked like a nice man. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, it's pretty good. It looks like yours, kind of. Holy, holy, holy. Birdies. Okay, nice. And they've got the star on the top of the Christmas tree. We'd love to see it, brother. All right, nice. Can I play the piano? Nope. Let's see about it. There is widespread shock following the Android attack on Detroit's Stratford Tower. The machines recorded a video message and broadcast what can only- Now, Chad, the more I think about it, Imagine it it's you and a friend or you and a family member or a parent like it's just you guys, right? And you're in this situation and you have a house, right? And all of a sudden you've got like six androids living at your house. You don't know why they're there. But they want freedom. And you see all the stuff that happens on the news. Wouldn't you even kind of freak out a little bit? That would be a bit jarring. I mean, it'd be jarring to have them there in the first place, but like, imagine you've got like, you know, six androids in your house. And it was you, and it was generally just you two, like you and your family member, like, or you and your son, or you and your mom, or you're, you're like a brother, or like, and then they're just there. You're outnumbered, essentially. So you don't know, like, when this thing happens when it comes on the news that they have uh, made these demands or whatever. You're like, do all of them feel this way? And will they turn on me? So, I mean, I can understand the... Uh, the boys, we described like, as demands on the city's public screens. And, uh, it's still unclear whether these scared. attacks can be explained by malfunctions or if some organization is behind them. So far, CyberLife has refused to comment, but we can expect more information in the following hour. Police. The police. It's the police. Here, it's the police. What are we going to do? They know we're here. Find deviants of it. We have to open the door. Evidence of deviants. Three left. Hold on. I knew this was gonna happen. Hurry, Luther. Take Alice and hide. Upstairs. Come on, Alice. I should have said laundry. I should have said laundry. If they see you panicking, it's over. Do you want to get us into trouble? Do you want to get your mother into trouble? And keep calm and just do what I say. Ugh. 
Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Uh, of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Also, very true, Italian. She looks innocent, though. Yeah, she looks innocent, but she's not. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? There's... There's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. A freaking coffee pot is sick. Do you have any androids here? No, there are no androids here. I should have said yes. I should have said yes. People have androids. I should have said yes. Upstairs, isn't he? Hmm, your daughter seems to have woken up. What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids, they... He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I haven't seen anything. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Is somebody else in the house? It's the dog. He sleeps in the laundry room. Sorry for the convenience. Oh, praise man. God! Yes! Good evening, Adam. Goodness gracious! Oh, we made it. All in the garden, it's snowing, right? He's gone. It's okay, Alice. We'll be safe now. It's Rose! Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. Oh, Rose! Is that a sneeze? It was. Bless him. Ow! Gonna, sorry, I was just stretching. That's why I made that noise. <laughs> uh, okay. Here we go, chat. We did it. 60% completed. And thank you for the blessing. Why should I have wideness? That's a stereotype? What do you mean, Mom? No, it's not.
You literally just saw two other black characters that weren't that weren't large. They literally all three had different body types. Okay, well, let's just calm it down, shall we? Anyway, let's see. Anything low percentage-wise? Prevent Alice seeing Mary. 51%. 40% watch the news, see family photo, 52%. Um, let's see. Upstairs, 54%. Reassured Adam. 31% Kara insists. Pardon me, policeman insists and Kara has to open the door. Policeman sees android clothes. Policeman fooled. Puggers eared. Puggers meat. Um... He's android clothes. Why wouldn't his suspicion have gone way up when I said there was no androids? If he saw the android clothes. Hey, to miss the rest of the show. Looks interesting. Yeah, uh, it'll all be on YouTube soon. Our broadcast is all over the news. Um, Greetings, Keeks. Hello. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? I'm usually on cam, just for the record, but for Detroit, I'm just I'm pulling a no cam so we can have the full cinematic experience. Okay, Guru, what are you talking about in terms of... Can you stop being weird, Guru? For the love of God. Now humans There are know. new people in my chat. You're going to drive them away talking about big hips being better for child rearing. Anatomically speaking. Okay, you know what? Listen security guru guy hi i'm new here greetings oh i know i know first time chatter welcome to the stream how's it going <laughs> first playthrough yes <laughs> oh guru okay anyway i love you guru okay i just want to let you know that i do also welcome to the stream keeks how'd you find us are you a fan of detroit become human because we are we are definitely fans just I, I would ask that you please do not backseat or spoil and we'll be great is this unfortunate space but what's up countess <laughs> uh, also guys thanks for the uh the subs and donations today much appreciated played this game twice killed the same people in different situations i see super fan okay nice nice well feel free to stick around uh, here, I'll show my face just so you have like some frame of reference of who I am. Hi, how's it going? My name is Micah, also known as Mike Dub. Uh, you're watching Mike Dub TV. This is my channel. I stream full time. This is my job. And we're playing, uh, as you can see, Detroit Become Human. I was watching unbe and unban request videos. <laughs> I see. And yes, uh, and Badge 007 is my mother in real life. Okay, so yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, if you enjoy the stream, feel free to follow. We'd love to have you as a part of the community. Um, we are a growing community and very nice people. I, I, stream I stream variety, so we play all different sorts of games. So mind your manners. <laughs> yeah, I mean, anyway. Cam, yeah, but generally I'm on cam, but, you know, sometimes I go no cam for Detroit. We're going no cam. So, yeah, here we go. Reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the we answer. We do enjoy Sonic. The dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. Even though I've only played it on stream like twice. Well, maybe three times. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you dare! That's enough! True geeks, but eh, I'm pretty expressive. And now what are we gonna do? No, he's still alive. We shall see him again. There are five cyber life stores across Detroit, all selling us like merchandise. We're going to attack those stores and set our people free. 
attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. Well, hello there, friend. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems, and then we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. Geeks! Geeks! Thank you very much for the follow and for the 100 bits. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, Keeks. Welcome to the Dubians. Can we get some Mike Dub H's in the chat for Keeks? And also, assuming you're above the age of 16, you can also join our Discord if you would like. It's full of really nice people. Uh, let me do a little screen cap action just so you can see the sort of things that we do in Discord. We got lounge chat. We got, actually, let me, Mark is unread. We have share your food which people share their food in all the time because that's literally what it's called we love food we love food okay also lucky for you we will be having uh new bit badges and bit emotes probably by the end of the week um armin sharing sushi you know people sharing pizza i made this oh yeah mm, tasty yeah i love food Food is really good. Food is really good. We watch a lot of food videos on this stream. Malware bites, can you not? We talk about games. We talk about all different sorts of stuff. We do movie nights in Discord. All that jazz. So, yeah, if you want to join the Discord, you know, feel free to join us. Um, yeah, like legitimately, our community is very diverse. Men, women, um, non-binary, trans people, uh... Gay, straight, you know, Christians, uh, I think Buddhists, a lot of other people. We have people from the U.S., people from Canada. Yeah, security people. <laughs> people from Australia, New Zealand, um, people from China, people from, uh, where is Nuggles from? Nuggles is from Kenya. Uh, we have people from South America. Yeah, literally people from all over the world, okay? So we're a very diverse community, and... Uh, yeah, feel free to uh, to join us in the Discord, assuming you have a Discord. We're all really nice people. And, uh, you know, sometimes we even disagree as a community and we reconcile. You know, just like people are supposed to do, like real, normal, good-hearted people are supposed to do. We all float down here. <laughs> yeah, we have gurus as well. Yeah. We free our people and get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. He says as he jumps out of a manhole. Narrating his life. I've been waiting a long time for this. Is it robbed a store? I don't get the significance. They're freeing their people, Guru. They're freeing their people. What? This way, quick. I can't even run. What do you mean? Yeah, it's not like they have rear view mirrors. It's in okay, here. they're yeah, gone. They're There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. Can't wait to get caught in this city. Can't wait to get caught in the city. The store's over oh, here. Yeah. Hey, I've been here. I was. Uh, Marcus was abused here and pushed to the ground. Wait, was this the place? Noodles Nest. It's a sick name for a noodles place. I shall connect. Hops out of a dumpster. The revolution begins now. You are free. Join us. We will litter for the revolution. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's 10 minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? Yeah, North. Stick to the plan, lady. Just because you're in edgy clothes doesn't mean you're calling the shots around here, ma'am. Thank you very much. All right. 
We're gonna sweep the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now. One problem at a time. Okay, now what's next? Whee! Wait a minute. Hold up! Wait a minute! Ah, it's a chop. There we go. You'll soon be with us. Major for an assembly. Lunch. Calm down. Be nice to her. It looks so cool. Okay. Like an absolute chad. Commemorate the invention of androids, which released humanity from the bonds of labor. Setting man free to pursue his... Wait, to pursue... Higher goals and scale the heights of learning and... Pardon me, of learning love and leisure. The hell? We are superior to them, but they are our masters? That's about to change. Come on, young android. You're coming with us. Join the revolution, buddy. Woo! You're awake now. Go to Jericho. And right, tell you. Okay, here we go. Time to be converted. Morgan. I'm going to be honest, this is very, um... Why is that yellow again? This is very, and I don't know if they meant to do this. They probably did. This is very Jesus-esque. Like, Marcus is touching them and they're like, noticing, like they're changing, you know? Which reminds me of Micah hasn't played the other Mass Effect. And so it shall remain for a little bit. <laughs> we got a lot of stuff coming up. You are free. Quite frank. So it shall remain for the moment. A surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. Analyzing. Reconstruct route. Frankie Muniz. Interesting. Very interesting. Where am I meant to be going? Climb it! Okay. Out of her 
first try. Unlock! Kinda cool? Maybe. I hope it didn't have time to call the cops. We'll soon find out. Indeed we will, Marcus. Indeed we will, my friend. Wait, we're, we're back in the noodle's nest? Marcus! What? Why are you yelling at me? on the road. We need to block it. Okay. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. Hi, gentlemen. Prepare to be converted. You're free now. Nobody should bother us now. Okay. Isn't there... Oh, turn around, Marcus, please. What are we waiting for? Now we're in. Let's get that truck out. Who let the truck out? Androids, androids, yeah. All right. I wonder what you'd do without me. I'm sure I'd manage. <laughs> Chat, just bear with me. Give me a sec. Um, all right, let's. I don't know 
why that's still... That's still, like, showing yellow. I don't know why, though. We've done everything that we can do over there. Alarm system. Lucky this thing was even open. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. Okay, let's go get the truck. We're down to five minutes, Marcus. If we're not inside by then, we'll have to give up. I know. I'm going as fast as I can. Also, it's definitely been more than five minutes. But you know, that's fine. This is great for me. This is great. Looks like we're ready to make some noise. Okay, give me a second, guys. Uh... My nose is runny! We'd end up doing something fun. Time to smashy smashy. Twenty five FPS. That's right, Peach Pog, indeed. Now to convert. You don't have to obey them. You're free. That so happens in clusters, huh?
My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes, to take back my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. And scene. Unless the police show up. I'm with you. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm, I'm with you, you Marcus. Marcus. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm with you. I'm with you. Then follow me. We shall impale them. Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. Oh God, not like this. Be pacifist or violent. Transform Capital Park. Okay, sure. They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow. Choose our symbol. Oh, okay. One looks like peace. The other one looks like the verge. I mean, I kind of like W. Also, tell you, I saw what you said. It was funny. Uh, I kind of like the V at the top. It looks kind of sick. But... This is such a, an easy symbol to like repeat. The S is such like an easy symbol to repeat. Like RA9. No, let's do this. It's like we've opened our eyes. is the only language humans understand. And I want them to understand, but I do not want to start a war. They won't listen if they're not afraid. Then they won't have a choice. Take that, North. Stop trying to negatively influence me. With your feminine wiles, we won't take it anymore. Stab it. We have a flag now. Yes! It looks like a lightsaber. 
Digital flag, digital flag, digital flag, digital flag. She wants me to be an anarchist. I shall not do it. You will not influence me so. Now do you understand why I don't like her? I don't know, that makes sense. Can I go inside? I can't go inside. Come on, Marcus. Turn these docking stations off. chat I'll help you shall be done. Parkour time, baby! I will do what none other has done. It's flag planting time, baby. Our symbol. Yes. Yes. Victory is ours. Not gonna look. Hundreds of our people. We did it. They're coming. We've Everyone destroyed one thing. Jericho. We've destroyed one thing, and that was the cyber life door. That was it. That was all we destroyed. We sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. Unless there's no other choice. Shut up, North! Shut up! Minka, what happened to you? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no! This way. And now they know Fire. my face. North! Pacifist, huh? This isn't gonna, I mean, people are gonna die either way, chat. Like, you know? North. You all right? What happened? North! They killed them. They slaughtered them like animals. Who did? Who? The humans! to defend 
defend ourselves anyway. They killed our people, Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. How are they surrendering now? You don't have to do this. No. Please. Please. We won't punish a crime with another crime. That was hard to do, Chad. That was hard to do, but I gotta, I gotta stay consistent if we're gonna go along this storyline. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores, and they're still investigating. Two police were found in a state of shock near one of the CyberLife stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? Oh, no, that's never happened before. Oh. Stupid news outlets. This is exactly what they want, chat. This is exactly what they want from us. They're telling us lies. We shall poke them in the eyes. Now my can opener is going to kill me. Oh, gosh. Okay, chat. Well, uh, what time is it? 2.30? We may continue on. I may call it, but we'll see. Because we, we, we are coming back tonight, so... Um, mission start. Let's see. Reach store. I'm betting most people went violent. 73% destroyed drone. Block road, 95%. Okay, most people did these things. Inside the store, convert androids and make a statement. Police not alerted, 89%. Plant flag, 24%. Push car, 62%. Refuse the Maltov. I freaking knew it, dude. I knew it. 20%, chat. To only 20% of people refused the Molly. Okay? We said no when she told us yes. Spread your message. Turn off billboards. Only 17%. 44% hacked Android parking. Tag benches, 65%. Deploy banner. Overload electric system. Send a strong message, 89%. Okay. Spare, 65%. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, good, 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 good. They'll definitely finish the game tomorrow. I see, I see. Marcus led a peaceful protest. 78%. Okay. So, generally, I mean, it could have gone worse. Like, we could have done the Molly and it would still be positive, I think. Um, But, our, um, let's see. I'm pretty sure it said public opinion is supportive right now. We have gotten it too supportive. We have not been violent in any way towards humans. We've not been violent in any way towards humans. Which I think is great. Which I think is great. 